journal entry documenting crossing the bridge between mass and energy by dr david rittenauer day 4980 my years of study in the field of elementary particle physics is no longer of any significant help i'm in new territory now all systems online transferring solid mass into digital energy. Yes! Okay, now, let's show the world what this old egghead can really do. Onward and upward. The first conversion of energy into matter. As I create life! Commencing initiation sequence. Anti-gamma capacitors fully transposed. Losing molecular cohesion. Increasing power to the imaging matrix. Damn! What happened? Computer, run diagnostic. Let's see what we did wrong. No! System accessed by unauthorized user. What? Locked them out! Overload. Overload. System crash is imminent. No! normally as she enters her third month. Since Robin's inception, I, I have been unable to make contact with my mysterious benefactors. <laughs> I think she's starting to look like me. She kicked. I can hardly contain myself, especially through my emotional mood swings and absent-mindedness. <sighs> Pregnancy does not suit me well. Without any hint of bias, I can safely say she... She is the most beautiful baby I have ever seen. Note. Now in her ninth month, the birthmark on Robin's shoulder has developed into a very unusual shape. Almost a design.
Warning, system overload and You got one second to hand over the kid, Doc. And you got three seconds to get the hell out of here. Make that two. Three, four, five, ah! One. Zero. Yourself. It wasn't our fault. Okay, we're jacked in. Logging on to decadence. Dead or what? <clears throat> For all intents and purposes, sir, energy spikes to their brains while using our prototype V-caps online kind of fright them, sir. VR gloves or suits are no longer required. Yes, Biochip's newest virtual reality accessory, the V-cap, is now awaiting government approval. By actually sending and receiving signals to the sensory cortex of the brain, VR gloves or suits are no longer required. Place orders by simply... Have them disposed of quietly. With our VCAP poised to hit the market, we can ill afford an investigation. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Quietly dispose of technicians. Don't write that down, you imbecile. Now, tell me, what were they doing here? Getting their kicks in some X-rated virtual website called Decadence. <laughs> On company time, no less. Serves them right, then. Uh, Mr. Euler, there seems to be a message for you on this terminal. Come see me at Decadence, Nelson. I'll be gentle, Triple X. Remove yourself from that chair. <gasps> Mr. Euler, you're not thinking of... It, it's not safe, sir. Oh, stop it, Booth. You're so cloying at times. <laughs> All right. Where are you? I'm here. You're in your ear. Hush. I'm here for you. Do you feel my presence? I feel yours. I demand to know what this is all about. Indulging selfish desires. Isn't that what everything's about? Plus, all the physical pleasures I can bestow upon you in exchange for a teensy-weensy favor. 
please. The charms of women have never held any interest for me. Of course they don't. Okay, how about this? Power. Getting anything? Hmm. A slight stir, perhaps. What might you have in mind? New, virgin, untouched by anyone, at least anyone alive. Oh, how delectable. Do proceed. The chance to turn energy into solid matter, to create something from nothing, all yours. Oh, oh yes. A chamber waiting to be rebuilt. You'll own it. You'll control it. Yes, almost. Don't stop. The future is yours to abuse. Take it, Nelson Oilar. Take it all, and you'll be the master of the computer universe. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh yes. That was good for me, but what do you get out of it? A way to escape from cyberspace and step into your world. <laughs> On the line. Tell it like it is. Spill the. Shut up, you yabber mouth! You ain't got the noggin to be polite. So mind your head, sass, or I'll put on a hat. Stop treating me like a bad hair day, friends. You want to tangle with me? Huh? I will give you such a headache. I do not break bad news. No, no. You do it, Notion. Um, uh, wait. I have an idea. A Flint tells him. Uh, he likes her best. Who aren't we the brave dream weavers? <laughs> okay. I left a sweet little ear perkin honey bun watching the emoticon falls all by herself. So, uh, what's up? Oh, I'll tell you what's up. Here's what's up, buddy. Oh, well, you see that Baby Robin is as lost as a corrupted file. We don't know where she is. Well, don't blame me. I'm just the processor. And Dr. Rittenauer? We're not sure, but we think he's... Dead Ola. The big fatal error. Dragged and dropped into the eternal bit bucket. Oh, it gets worse. You'll hate this. Fine. Load everything on my backup. I'll decode the rest for him. Triple X has been zipping Nelson Oilar's disk drive. He's the owner of Biochip. She seduced him into reconstructing the chamber. Very nasty JPEG. Boo, Triple X. Oh, no. That means... We failed miserably. There. Are you happy you dragged it out of me? Hmm? Everything is perched. Oh, if that scarlet harlot makes it into the outer world, we're crashed. Robin was our only hope in stopping her. Infant 343. Body temperature elevated. Adjusting comfort level. Infant 344. Restless. Repositioning. Infant 346. In distress. Gently rocking. Adding music. Adding visual.
sick as you drunk I am. Boy, I'm relieved. Now excuse me. You know, those moves of yours were whispering to me loud and clear. Let's say we go in the room out in my other truck, eh? Hey, sounds dreamy. Tell you what, you go warm up your motor, and if I'm not there in five minutes, start without me. Hey! Oh! Hey! How did I? Game over. You fail to escape the dark catacomb. <laughs> Hey, that's okay. Even I have a hard time with this game. As a member of the weaker sex, I am so relieved. Now run along and hunt us some red meat, Mr. Neanderthal, while I stay in the cave and prepare for the breeding ritual. <laughs> that's... not what I meant. You hold the record, you know. <sighs> Excuse me? For getting hit on the most times in one night. You keep count? Oh, let's call it job research, sweetie. Oh, how let's call it jealousy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brenda Plump. Robin, uh, what kind of... I know, I know, Plump. With a name like that, a life of ridicule is pretty much mapped out. Unless you're real thin. <laughs> but hey, I can take it on the double chin with a jovial chuckle. <laughs> no, no, I mean, what I meant was... What kind of job research? I just moved here and... Oh, that! Do you know what a VRJ is? Of course you don't. I made it up. It's sort of a virtual reality club DJ. Ever heard of an internet dance club? Of course you haven't. I made that up too. <laughs> I call it NetRave. And I'm launching it tomorrow night. And I'd like you to run the dance floor. A club on the internet? But I... Of course you haven't, honey. Because it's the first one, now that the VCAP finally got the government stamp. And if it's not you, then it's got to be me. And ogling eyes don't follow this caboose around any dance floor. Wait, but where... Address is on the card. Come on by, meet the place. Gotta run. Ta-ta! Commencing initiation sequence. Anti-gamma capacitors fully transposed. Molecular cohesion has been lost. What kind of ignoramus dullards do I have working for me? Um, the very best, sir. <gasps> Twenty years and millions of dollars later, and what do I end up with? A big fish tank. <clears throat> I um, think we're close to a breakthrough, sir. We'd better be, because if I don't get this little piggy to market fast, we're all finished! <laughs> Failed! But we're close. Very close. No, you're finished! <laughs> Sledgehammers? What? They'll be taking sledgehammers to your chamber. If anything happens to me... Finish it fast, Nelson, before my temper gets the better of me and of you.
I was worried I scared you off. Some say I don't make a very good first impression, but hey, they obviously lie. Because here you are, my new VRJ. <laughs> well, I'm not making any promises. I just came to look around and... I'll stick that. You were made for this job, honey. Now we're running out of time. Scoot, scoot. I scattered ad banners all over the net, saying we launch at midnight. T minus 11 minutes and counting. Now this here is our control room. And this is my genius virtual architect, Reed Stokes. It's nice to meet... Huh? I believe she knows me under my stalker alias, Mr. Neanderthal. You're a programmer? I used to design video games. Perhaps you've heard of one? Dark Catacomb? <laughs> Which is what you meant by even you have a hard time beating it. Right. And cut. Robin's embarrassment scene is a wrap. Wardrobe change. <sighs> I'm supposed to fit into this? Of course not, sweetie. That's the point. Suck in the eyeballs, Reed. Uh, let's log her on. Whoa, nice. The new T-8000 model with advanced synaptic processing. I've never used one of these. Don't worry. You look great in it. Well, I look like a Klingon battle cruiser. Fire the photons, Reed! Aye, aye, Captain. Beaming your mind's eye into cyberspace. That's the entrance and exit pedestal. A welcome to NetRave. In less than a minute, onliners from around the world will be slapping on V-caps and still rotting their virtual stuff in here, just like they would in a real dance club. You can drink in here, too? Two shot glasses, tequila, hold the worm. Ah. Remember, the V-cap links with the brain, so every sensation can be simulated in here. Eating, drinking, getting snuckered, and I know what you're thinking, yeah, even sir. Uh, I wasn't thinking about that. Well, I think about it enough for the both of us. Mind? <sighs> Woo! But all sensations only last until you log off. So, as tanked as you get in here, you're safe and sober out there. The perfect addiction, huh? If there is such a thing... Hey girls, NetRave is getting some serious hits. Are we about ready? Give us 30 seconds! Here you go, sweetie. From this podium, you control the club sound. Music, mixing boards, keyboards, lights, effects, got it? Of course you do! I'm a nervous wreck. Can you puke online? Oh, I hope not. Throw open the doors, Reed! Cattle, you're just a click away from the hottest VR site in Cyberville. Decadence! Come on, Reed! Where are you? Ah, 
Yes! Oh, man. Great. Slam! Let's slam! It's the bitch! Sorry about this, sweetie. Are you okay? I'm fine, thanks. You know, for, uh, marching out. It's more of a pleasure than you know. Okay, onliners, time to string your processors and rock your hard drives. Let's have it! Hey, girl, the trash is gone. So get out of the dumps, huh? <laughs> time to... Did you see what happened? You mean the system glitch that punted that hose head? I loved it, but I better have recheck it out. Might be a problem. No, it wasn't a glitch. It was me. Okay, little blame arrows poop, 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 stabbing me in the heart. I tossed you into the deep end of the cyber pool on your first day. Too much, too soon. Out there, it, it seems so peaceful. Honey, Reed didn't design anything out there. The windows in that door are just for locks. What you're seeing is blank cyberspace. No, no, there's something there. I can feel it. Robin, sorry about that. My punt command malfunctioned and... Odd. I heard you as my ad banner. Yet here you are, indulging your voyeuristic obsession. I'm both annoyed and aroused. I, uh, I found the girl you, you've been looking for. What girl? You know, the, the bitch. The one who bears the mark, the, the Dreamweaver symbol. I knew she wasn't dead. I could always sense it. Where is she? New virtual club. Net brave. Find out where she lives. Then find something of hers that has sentimental value. Are we clear? Yes! Go! <laughs> Robin, my dear sweet Robin, please come in. Who are you? I'm Triple X, and I have all the answers to your many questions. Where you came from, why you're here, where you're going, I have it all. So come, come in. in. I don't understand. You will. Now get in here! No! Disappeared right out of this chair. <laughs> it's okay. You are out of it, sweetie. You are safe. <sighs> what happened? I can't explain it. Going through that club door should have been like hitting a brick wall. You actually walked out into cyberspace. I couldn't even reach you on the comlink. 
I saw it. It was real. Saw what? There wasn't anything out there. There was. The cottage. The place I dream of. You mean like your song? No. Yes. I drew this garden cottage when I was a little girl. It was where I wanted to live. With real parents. It was out there. And so was this woman. This, this badass in red leather named Triple X. Triple X? She's from that decadence dot zone. What would she want? She wants... me. stable it worked no it's dead it's still a major breakthrough sir organic matter was derived from energy that's that's never been done before i'm overjoyed you're encouraged booth because on the next test you'll be taking the mouse's place <laughs> I'm looking for Triple X. Where can I find her? Have a pull. Join the fun. Triple X is already one. <laughs> Never mind. Huh? You're new here, aren't you? <coughs> Whoa! Oh, what's in that crap? Something to relax you. You're so tense. I'd like you to keep your ad banners out of Netrave. The place is clean, and I intend to keep it that way. Netrave? I... I may have heard of it, but nothing stays clean, especially if I touch it. You see, I corrupt all. I'm an addiction. How come I can't locate a URL for your site? Where's your source? Decadence has no source. It's just a road people happen to find themselves on. And you look like a man who needs to take a ride on that road. <laughs> Save it, man. Just leave us out of your carnal conquest, or I'll dump so many viruses in this site that you'll crash every time you pixelate yourself. Give Robin a message for me. Tell her, Triple X is waiting. We have so much catching up to do. Like it's gone. He's got this machismo protector thingy going on with you. I smell romance. Reed, put the door back. Sorry, Robin. We don't need a repeat of last night. It's too dangerous. Brenda, I have to know what's out there. <laughs> Robin! <laughs> no! Robin. I... I tried to log her off. But I was too late. She just vanished. <laughs> Where? <laughs> hey there, Rockin' Robin. Bump and grind yourself over next to me. I don't mind. Unless you want me to. They always swoon. <laughs> Gotta watch where I throw these killer looks. <laughs> uh oh! What are you 
doing? Going to find Robin. Robin! Uh, Reed, you found me. Did she hurt you? Uh, I'm okay. Now that you're here. I don't understand this. How did you physically cross over into cyberspace? It's impossible! seem to excel at the impossible. Mm. Reed. It's you! <laughs> I'm a narcotic, invitingly rough. Crave me, take me, it's never enough. Where's Robin? What have you done with her? You really don't know what's going on, do you? I don't have Robin. The wicked Dreamweavers do. Dreamweavers? Deceptive little beasts. I abhor them. They're forcing her to fight a dangerous battle to the death. She's in terrible danger, Reed. And we're the only hope she has. Wait a minute. We? You're helping me? Oh, yes. I'm here for you. Mm. Together we'll find her. We need each other. <sighs> You're awake! Way to state the obvious, sass! <sighs> huh? Of course she's awake! Her eyes are open, you knucklehead! I was being polite. Well, it doesn't suit you. <sighs> Where am I? Randy's house! Who? Oh, <laughs> you're awake! <laughs> Careful, Randy. Frass will bite your head off, stating the obvious. Whoa, hit the reload. What do you mean I'm a cyber child? I suspect you always knew you were different. No real parents, unusual displays of power. <laughs> now you know why. Come on, we have lots of work to do. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, cushiony soft. <laughs> Wanna snuggle? Tell me what's going on here. Okay, the big story. Condensed version. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. You have to hold me. A dark temptress reigns in cyberspace by the name of Triple X. Uh, keep walking, babe. <laughs> We're on a tight schedule. <laughs> you heard of sexual energy? Well, Triple X is empowered by it when people surf online decadence. <laughs> Needless to say, she's now bench pressing big numbers. Can you hurry? My arms are getting tired. Oh, then give him a rest. Hold me close. Oh, risk the cramp. So what's Triple X got to do with me? She wants into the outer world. <laughs> Bad juju, but that happens. Normal people will get totally twisted under her influence, becoming addicted to carnal urges. <laughs> so we needed someone who could exist both in here and out there to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her, kind of. <laughs> That's why we created you. Created? How? Well, you see, we took some bailing wire, a big battery, then dipped in this eyedropper into it, and it... Oh, <laughs> never mind. Suffice it to say, we got the ingredients right. Woo-hoo! Hubba hubba, did we ever? <gasps> so I am a freak. No, Robin. You're a miracle, and we need you. But I didn't turn out. Your recipe was missing one critical ingredient. Ability. You got the ability, babe. And you got the heart. Just not the training. When the man who helped create you in the outer world was vaped by Triple X, we lost track of you. So now we... There was a man who helped you? Yeah. I guess he's kind of your father. Anyway, now we... I... I have... 
did, did have a father. He lost his life saving you a long time ago. Time to move on. What was his name? Dr. Rittenhauer. Let's focus, people. Okay. Now, like I was saying... What was I saying? Oh, yeah! Your cyber trainers, the Dream Weavers. Who? The. Hey! That was your cue! <coughs> Creep! Present? Robin, meet. Creep. But that's what I do, not what I am. Creep is our resident sneak. Uh, he's going to teach you some of his technique. And I'm flipped. I get to show you how to levitate and fly. Fly? <laughs> Why not? You certainly look buoyant enough. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry we're late, but Sass has no head for directions. Though excuse me, it was a shortcut. Yeah, going the wrong way. And uh, <clears throat> you've already met Sass and Frass. <laughs> They'll be teaching you the oh, finer yeah. points of combat. <laughs> Them? Hey, we fight with each other so well, we just decided to go pro. And this little bright spot is Notion. Have you ever wanted to turn an idea into something real or something solid? I'll show you how. Like the snow cone or a, a lollipop. Um, concentration is essential. These are the teachers who will help you defeat the mega-powerful Triple X! Oh, dear. Never underestimate the Dream Weavers! Netrave's door is restored, and it should actually open for us this time. You okay, sweetie? You're about half a backslash off tonight. You should have installed that door in half the time. I'm fine. I'm just... preoccupied. On what? That triple X dream knitter crap? Dream weavers, not knitters. And I know it sounds far-fetched, but... No, it sounds like William Gibson in Wonderland. But... Something happened to Robin, so let's scoot. Now, we just log on, then walk through that virtual door and find Robin, right? Let's just hope it's that easy. A more imbecilic assumption I've never heard. You'll break your faces trying to go out that door. Hey, who are you? Nelson Euler! Wow! Reed, he's the founder of Biochip, the inventor of the V-Cap! Oh, what can I do for you, Mr. Euler? A chair? A beverage? A date? Not you. Him. Him? Oh, I getcha. Then the rumors are true. You prefer... Brenda, let's hear what the man has to say. There's only one way for you to physically enter cyberspace. Through my biochamber. I've been asked to escort you there. Let's go. Wait! Asked? Asked by whom? Like I said, just him. Just him. Screw that, Nelson Oil Slick. And you can forget about that date! We creep behind one tree, then creep out from behind another tree. Now you try it.
looks kind of like a big fish tank. Listen to me, you miscreant code cruncher. Triple X has one word for you. Robin! Now get in there and open Netrave's door like you've been instructed. Or you can forget about her. As soon as you're submerged, we'll begin the process. Breathe! No! You're not thinking straight! This Triple X has got you messed up in the head! She's gonna help us get Robin back, Brenda. I believe in her. Breathe! Initiating inverse gamma mitosis. Sustaining power flow to the induction cords. Subject's transformation into energy has been successful. Oh. Heaven help you now. Lock her up until I can decide what to do with her. You're a murderer, Nelson Oiler! Okay, now. Let's begin the next test. Whoa. Head rush. Joy for me, little lady. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. What about Robin? Ah, uh, yes, Robin. Oh, I have a plan to capture or uh, rescue her. Is she okay? Oh, they've no doubt brainwashed that blonde little head of hers into thinking she's helping them. So we can expect her to fight us. I need to know I can count on you. I'm ready. I'll do whatever you ask. Oh, I just love it when men say that. Oh! Anti-gamma capacitors fully transposed. Molecular cohesion is stable. Oh, yes. I have truly outdone my genius self. Mark this moment in time, for Nelson Oilar has taken the random elements of energy and created life! Cyberspace is a great expanse. It contains all knowledge and information. By visualizing something, your mind reaches out to catch this information, allowing you to imagine it into solidity. How do you know I can even do this? I think it was the bailing wire. Maybe that big chunk of the... Uh... Oh, never mind. Your power probably started to reveal itself in the outer world when you found yourself focusing intense anger. Yeah, it did. Wow. Now, I want you to imagine for me a snow cone. Focus on what it looks like. A snow cone. Okay. Hmm. I never liked snow cones, but here goes. You're doing a good job. It's taking form. Wait, you're losing it. Where is your focus? At the tennis match where a snow cone ruined my outfit. Forget that. Snow cone, snow cone, snow cone. I don't care much for snow cones anymore either. I can't do this. I'm, I'm not ready. This is too much on my shoulders. I'll let you down. Whoa! Oh. Hey! We're in this together! You're a dream weaver now! And never underestimate a dream weaver! <laughs> Try and stop her at decadence, but if she makes it through, you'll have to cross over after her. By myself? What about all of you? What? Ah! Hey! Oh! Hang on to your floppies! Reed! What are you doing? How did you cross into cyberspace? Doesn't matter. I'm here to save you! You should be given directions. Oh, it's time 
useless. We'll never find them in here. I don't know why you're here, but you're screwing everything up. Relax, Robin. Somehow you got mixed up with those dream weavers and the problems. It's not your fight. How do you know about this? It's not important. It's time you started thinking about yourself, though. This place is for you. Here, you can forget everything. It's just like I imagined it. No stress, no tension. Just peace, tranquility, escape. Give in to it. We don't have to worry about anything ever again. Nothing else matters. I could stay here forever. So could I. Wait a minute. This, this isn't right. No, it is right. Don't fight it. You can depend on Triple X. She knows what we need. <gasps> Triple X! It's a trick! What are you doing? This isn't how it's supposed to be! This is the video game I designed. Dark Catacomb. <gasps> we gotta get out of here. I can't beat this thing. Come on! Hey, Robin! We can straighten this out! To me, <laughs> I can't believe I've been so blind. Those who fail me fear what's next. Forwards to die by. <laughs> Never cross Triple X. Raid. Now where were we? <laughs> Thanks for the aerobics. Now. To thrill the outer world. Has there been a lesson learned here? Then I'm giving you one last chance. <laughs> Never look back for the time is right. From whence it came, I return this sight to nothingness! <laughs> How was your trip, yada yada yada? Now let's get down to business. Oh, I intend to. Good. Now, I've worked up a marketing strategy for the biochamber that includes financial forecasts and... I'm afraid not. As long as the biochamber exists, so exists the doorway to a world I vow never to return to. What are you saying? We had a deal. <laughs> Deal's off. Embrace my gratitude. It's more than most get. This is my chamber! <laughs> I'm gonna miss that pretentious suit. 
No, I won't. What do you see? Nothing. Then let's go out and paint this town scarlet. Come, boy. <laughs> So brave. I missed being there for you. But I'm here for you now. My life force is your life force. What happened? Oh, great. I'm dead. <laughs> Not Quite. Who are you? I'm your father. <gasps> Robin? Whoa! Dr. Ridnour! Where did you come from? And, uh, <laughs> where's your body? I haven't one. I've been imprisoned here ever since Triple X found my consciousness roaming cyberspace. Decadence does beg on us. Give in to sin and we all win. What are you doing to these people? What you're seeing, my pet lover, is the loss of conscience and an addiction to free abandon. Oh. This sexual energy is like a shot in my arm! <laughs> Welcome all to City knew those extra 30 pounds would come in handy someday. Okay, make it 40 pounds. Whoa! Just hold your circuits together long enough for me to find Robin! Concentrate. Visualize. It... It's not working. I can't do it! Sweet Robin, doubt is a destroyer. Some can overcome it, some can't. You, my daughter, can. I have faith in you. We all do. Uh huh. Yeah, no, what he said. What will happen to you? You'll all be purged. Us? <laughs> no way! We got ways of getting out of this. Not a problem! You just go kick some red leather butt, okay? Okay. Here I go. Now what? There's no way out for us! Then we wait for the end. Oh, oh Megabyte! You are real! Huh? You must be Robin's friend, Brenda. We need your help to save us! You got it, What? You 
me. Unfinished business. Well, isn't this perfectly pious? The good rises from the dead. And the bad goes to hell. Minus the handbasket. Robin! You mention her name in my presence again and you're dead! Take the phase transition cable and attach it to the particle accelerator. Yes, right there. It's not working. I'm afraid we've run out of time. <laughs> the dark. He didn't make it out. Okay. Harlot from Hooterville, show yourself! Nice of you to drop in. Come again when you can stay longer. Free! Robin! Snow cone? through with her. She's yours to use and abuse. No! Room in this melee for, uh, Mr. Neanderthal? Reed, you're all right. Hey, Robin, you look rather smoldering tonight. Oh, trust me, deadheads. Uh, you don't want to mess with the Dreamweavers. How is Very impolite, but well said. And just who let you out of the Hundred Acre Wood? Uh, come on, Robin, this ain't over. Remember what you're fighting for. And what we're fighting against. Addiction. Obsession! A taste of forbidden fruit, then a bite, then more and more, until we can never get enough. Look at yourselves. Deep into yourselves. You've been blinded. You've enslaved yourselves to Triple X. But she has no power over you unless you give it to her. Don't listen to her! Don't deny yourselves every wonderfully sinful pleasure that you deserve! I give it to you free! But tomorrow you will pay. If you make it to tomorrow. Oh! oh! She's even more hideous than Randy's shaved bottom! <laughs> oh, man, I'm never gonna live that down! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I totally lost it. 
I got sucked into her world and I... I don't know. I just never thought it would happen to me. I understand. I really do. Decadence is alluring. A, a trap that's not always easy to spot until it's too late. I can't believe the hold it had on me. I couldn't break it by myself. I needed you. I still need you. <laughs> this is almost better than a carton of cookie dough ice cream and a cheesy movie of the week. <laughs> Out of my way. I need a hug. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, sentimental scene is in the can. Cut to the epilogue. You're gonna help us rebuild that grave, right? I'd like to, but right now I belong in cyberspace. For when Triple X angles for a comeback. When you're ready to launch, though, listen for a knock at your virtual door. It just might be your favorite VRJ. I'll see you very soon. Because I need you, too. I love you both. Come on, Romeo, let's find a broom. And after I knock you in the head a few times for being a dope, we can sleep! So you have no idea what happened to Triple X? Nope! <laughs> She's obviously hiding someplace, licking her wounds! I have no doubt we'll be seeing that Scarlet Harlot again! Yeah, and this time she'll be holding a grudge. But I'll be ready for her. So, uh, where are you taking me? <laughs> it's a surprise! <laughs> okay, but no funny stuff. Yeah, like I'm gonna promise that! <laughs> Welcome home! What Flit's trying to say is I... Go ahead, Sass! Speak up! We're the ones who are thanking you, Robin. You done a proud kid. How was that? Couldn't have said it better myself! Mm. Ooh, is there more where that came from? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> The place you dreamed of? Almost. This is my childhood wish come true. Except for parents. Would one parent <gasps> suffice? You're alive! Lucky for me that Purge couldn't touch a bodiless soul like mine. That's right. You have a body, but how? Thanks to the Dreamweavers. Especially Notion. He manifested a real form for my consciousness. Okay, virtually, Robin. Let's say we go cruise Dreamweaver Boulevard in my dream sport, huh? <laughs> it's a date. Have her home before curfew. Mind yourself, Randy. Sheesh! And you wanted a father. <laughs> <laughs> Clarify something for you people. Happy endings are for fairy tales. And this one will be seriously short-lived. Let it be known that Nelson Oilar, master of the computer universe, has returned! <laughs> 